Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today we're going to cover the process to install solid bed mounts or silicon bed mounts on our Ender 3 Pro. The process is going to be the same if you have any type of pretty much Creality printer or any type of 3D printer that has the spring mounts on it already. We're going to swap those out and just put the solid ones in here. Uh, I did get the one that has the adapter harness uh, or stabilizer harness for the cables. Uh, I'll talk about that in the install process, kind of go over why I went that route versus just went with the one that had all of them the same size. And then after I've used this for a couple weeks, I'll talk about the difference between installing some of these uh, solid bed mounts versus the upgraded springs like I did on this printer. So I'll run them both side by side for a little while and do another video in a couple weeks um, to go over my thoughts between the two and which ones I think you should buy and when. So before we get started, um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the process during the install or would like to recommend any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the install. All right guys, so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and remove our build plate. If you have the magnetic build plate like this one, uh, you're gonna have the magnetic pad on the bottom so it will hide the screws. Hopefully we don't need to mess with those. Um, but I've seen some situations where if the screw comes loose, you kind of have to find out where it's at and can push in and hold on it while you're turning it. If you have the glass build plate, you would just take that off and set it off to the side. All right, now we want to go ahead and clip this wire tie that's off here to the back off of the support bar for the cables. Be careful when you're doing this to not clip any of the wires. We just want to clip the zip tie. All right, and then I'm trying to do as good of a job as I can here with the camera and not having my hands in the way. Uh, it is somewhat difficult just trying to shoot this uh, with one person, so bear that in mind, please. All right, once the zip tie is off, you wanna pop this little plastic cover off as well. Be careful not to put any strain or anything on the wires because you don't wanna mess with that uh, actually going into the build plate itself. Um, but if you have an issue, you can kind of push in on the side and then it should pop up. And it's a little bit of a pain, but it's uh, not too bad. All right, once you got that off, just go ahead and set it off to the side. Now we want to go through and uh, unscrew all of the wheels so that we can pop the build plate up. All right, once all the wheels are off, we can go ahead and lift the build plate up. Again, being careful around the wires. And then our springs are kind of going to just pop out of place and we'll set those off to the side as well. All right, so I went ahead and opened up the bed mount kit and laid the pieces out here. I wanted to show you the difference between the two stabilizer bars. Um, basically, this is just a 3D printed one that came with it, um, but the actual opening is smaller. So when you put this in there, it fits and kind of just stays tight and doesn't move around, where if you put it in this one, it still slides around a little bit. Now you could make this work um, but I prefer to go uh, with the one that's a little bit tighter on it uh, just so I don't have any issues in the future. And it was a couple dollars difference, so I figured I might as well get the one that has the right measurements for the mounts that we're using. And then the next thing I wanted to point out here is if you look at our four mounts, uh, the one here on the right is smaller than the other three. That one is going to go into uh, this where the other ones would go into the other three. Uh, so basically this one has is a little bit smaller to account for the thickness of the plastic on the bottom here. All right, so now what we wanna go ahead and do is put the smaller mount into our stabilizer arm. I'm going to just slide that in there and then we're gonna flip that over and put it over by where the wires are and kind of run it in a way that the wire will run through it like it kind of was before. We'll have to do some adjustments afterwards just to make sure it's all aligned right. Uh, just again, be careful when working around here. You don't want to accidentally pull off any of the connectors. And then we'll go ahead and put the other three mounts in place. All right, now we'll go ahead and flip this over and kind of put the screws back through our bracket. And then adjust the arm over here so that the wires are going through it. And then we can go ahead and take the plastic cover that came with the kit and just pop it on top here. And then if you have an extra wire tie or zip tie, you can go ahead and put the back around here 
like it originally had. I don't have one handy, so I'm not going to, um, but this is enough to keep it in place. All right, so now that that's on, we'll go ahead and put our wheels back on and just tighten everything up really quick. I'm gonna speed up the camera while we do that. All right, now that the wheels are on, uh, they're kind of loose right now, I'm gonna put the build plate back on and then kind of go through a quick manual leveling process to make sure everything is aligned right. All right, so we wanna do the manual leveling first, just a rough level to make sure that when we power it on, if you have the BL touch or anything, that it's not gonna uh, just jam the nozzle into the build plate anywhere. It's gotta at least be somewhat level. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just go through, tighten these up a little bit, just so I put a little bit of pressure on each one and then um, just walk it around the corners. So because I mess with my printer all the time, um, my x-axis was a little bit wobbly, so I had to tighten the eccentric nut that's right here as well, uh, just so I didn't have that movement over here. But after I did that, I leveled out the bill plate just manually. Now, if you have a BL touch, um, that's really all you have to do. You just want to have it as level as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, if you want, if you and you have a Raspberry Pi, you can run through the bed visualizer and kind of make adjustments where needed. If you don't have a BL Touch, I recommend going through this process a couple times, just making sure that bed is as level as it's going to get. Um, and then once it's level, uh, you'll be able to see that, I mean, it's pretty stable. It's not gonna be moving around when you're pushing on it, like with the springs we push down and it causes things to kind of loosen up over time. It's gonna stay level for much longer, uh, which is really the advantage of the solid blocks. Um, the disadvantage is, uh, with them being as hard as they are, uh, you're only able to make smaller adjustments. Like you can't have a, a centimeter adjustment on one side as an example to account for things being out of level on the printer or the build surface or the actual surface you have your printer sitting on. Um, if that's the case, you're probably gonna have to fix that issue first before trying to level the build plate. But that's really all there is to it for the install process. All right guys, so that covered installing the solid bed mounts on your 3D printer. As you can see, the process was pretty easy. You just gotta make sure that when you're done that you re-level the bed. Um, that's probably the most time consuming part. If you have a BL Touch, it does make things a lot easier. I have videos covering the install of the BL Touch that I'll link to below. And like I also mentioned, um, I plan on doing a video in a couple weeks to give more feedback on what I think about the solid mounts and then kind of go over a comparison on those versus what I have on my other Ender 3, which are just the upgraded yellow springs versus these little cheap springs that come on uh, the Creality printers to begin with. If you have any questions about the process or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.